Hello guys, today I'm very happy to show new Adobe application Experience Design CC. Using Experience Design CC, you can create UI and UX designs for web and mobile. As you can see, I created my, uh, my uh, project. I was thinking about this project for a long time. Uh, I would like to show my uh, showcase my last project in uh, project um, in Adobe Photoshop CC, Adobe Photoshop Sketch, and Adobe Illustrator Draw. Um, I would like to showcase my digital painting. So I created few artboards, including my work on those applications, and also I added about me and contact me pages. Um, what I would like to do right now, I would like to add extra page artboard under uh, Adobe Photoshop CC painting to let people know about my upcoming webinars and trainings. Um, uh, in Experience Design CC, we can see a very familiar uh, toolbar and um, on, on the left side and on the right side, we can see properties um, explore. Uh, panel. So how can I add my uh, extra artboard? It's very easy. I will uh, click on um, artboard icon and I will choose um, iPad uh, Pro uh, size and I will move my artboard under my uh, Adobe Photoshop artboard. And what I would like to do right now, I would like to add um, bring picture into my artboard. Um, so I will choose a rectangle tool, simple shape, and now I would like to add kind of art effect to my uh, rectangle, um, holding option uh, key, uh, holding down option key, uh, key, I will drag inside corners of my uh, rectangle. And what I would like to do right now, I would like to, I would like to bring. Um, picture uh, into my rectangle tool. How can I do this? Um, simply open a finder. Uh, and this is my image I would like to add. Simply click and drag into your uh, rectangle uh, tool. Um, you can resize, you can uh, modify your image as you want to. So you can drag corners if you want to. Just let's see. Yeah, like that. Maybe something like that. It depends on your taste. Yeah, I like something like this. Let me just resize this part. Okay, we are good. What I would like to add, I would like to bring um, into my artboard my uh, social networking icons and I have um, um, Added more, added my my social networking icons across entire project. So I will um, click um, a shift button and select all my uh, icons, social networking icons. Click copy. I will select my um, click on my uh, current artboard, edit and paste. As you can see, Experience Design CC remember. Um, from where you copied your uh, social networking icons and experience design CC paste uh, exact and same place uh, into your new artboard. Also, I would like to bring uh, my uh, home and uh, contact me icons. Same way, select, copy, select your current artboard, paste and we paste exact in same place. What I would like to do right now, probably I would like to change um, icon's color. So I will click on my uh, home um, icon and click on fill and I will choose color from my image. Okay, same with uh, uh, contact me. Uh, one second, fill. How easy is it? So, uh, and now I would like to bring about me. How can I do this? It's very easy, guys. If you want to copy uh, exact uh, same uh, text style and apply uh, same text style to another text, simply select your um, text uh, and just type. about me 
what I would like to do right now, I would like to uh, increase size of my um, text and I would like to apply exact same color as I have uh, with my home and contact me icons. So um, fill and probably I will uh, bring size down just slightly. Yes, yes, like that. What I would like to do right now, I would like to add information about my uh, webinars. It could be any information you want to display. So my webinars, same. I will uh, increase the size of my text. I will change uh, color. It's my webinars. And uh, now I will um, display any information I want to. Uh, example, painting in Adobe Photoshop CC. I will um, change position of my text. I will resize my text, increase size of my text. And um, also I can uh, drop shadow of my text if I want to. But I don't want to. So um, also I would like to do I'll let people um, contact me if they will have any questions regarding this webinar. How can I do this? I will create a custom um, icon. I will use um, circle tool. I will uh, change color to the red one. And explanation mark. I will change uh, size, I resize my explanation mark and now I will select my explanation mark and my um, ellipse tool and now we have custom uh, icon for our uh, uh, webinars and right now we we sh we're supposed to link uh, uh, each element uh, um, element inside our artboard to another artboard pages. Uh, and first of all, let me change um, title of our artboard. My webinars. And now I will switch to prototype. And this is my uh, welcome screen. This is my home button. As you can see, let me zoom out. As you can see, uh, I edited uh, previously all links um, uh, inside my project. So right now I would like to add uh, li extra links uh, from my um, my webinars artboard to uh, contact me about me um, artboard. So let me zoom out, zoom in. And now I will click on uh, example, my home button. And I just will uh, drag um, this wire to my uh, my uh, sketchbook artboard. And now we have options to um, add extra touches to our project. So we can change uh, uh, side left, slide left, slide right, slide up or slide down. Uh, I would like to add dissolve and um, duration uh, 0 0.2 seconds is good. Same I would like to add to contact me icon. So I click on contact me, email me, and I will wire it to uh, my uh, contact me page. Same dissolve 0 0.2 seconds. Uh, same about um, if uh, my customers have any questions. So they, will, they can contact me using same page, contact me. And also we have um, Twitter, Facebook, and Behance uh, buttons. Um, if you would like to share, let's preview. First of all, let's preview now our project. Ah, and I forgot about me. 
I will wire about me to about me page. And now I would like to preview my uh, project. This is about Photoshop. It's uh, back to my home page. Photoshop sketch. Email me. About me. Home page. Uh, about Illustrator. Uh, as you can see, we missed um, about uh, how people will be redirected from uh, any other pages to my webinars pages. So what I can do, it's very easy. I coming back to my design, I will choose um, uh, text type and I will um, type more example more. I will uh, resize. I will not change uh, color. And as you can see, I don't need to refresh my preview um, window. Everything updated automatically in real um, life mode. I will switch to a prototype and I will wire more to my, uh, my webinars page. And we can see it now as you can see it's very easy what extra you can do uh, also you can share um, your project with your client or with your co-workers um, like in real um, time what you can do click on your um, welcome button or uh, welcome uh, artboard uh, and right now click on record and just go through your pages just like that like me about me home and stop record and you can save right now your uh, project anywhere you want to and share um, this uh, with your client or co-workers so guys uh, ah, and also um, you can share a link uh, to your project so click on share you can uh, add any image you want to. Example, I would like to add this picture image and create link. Um, it, it will take uh, about maximum one minute. It depends on your uh, machine. As you can see, we are done. We can um, copy link right now. And if I will open my browser example, I will show you in a second. Let me bring my window. Just like this. I will copy my link. And this is my sketchbook, um, digital uh, sketchbook project. So as you can see, It's very easy and this is just simply perfect. So guys, I didn't show you everything what we can do um, in Experience Design CC. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at any time um, you, uh, via Twitter or via my, my website. Thank you very much guys and I will see you later.